But these mental models, these schemas, as an adult, they can end up hurting you. These schemas help these, the, all these fragmented pieces. Each of them has its own based on the experience it had. And the schema has a prediction about how things work, what you need to do to protect yourself, to help you help somebody else, like your, your group, or to make you feel better. So each of these has its own. You can have a lot of these, and these are like, basically they're called beliefs, okay? And they're held in implicit memory, and I'll explain what that is in a bit. So we have now these stored mental concepts about each of these parts have stored mental concepts about the world predictions how things work what you need to do what you need to do to protect yourself protect others all these different things right and again these are schemas so i'll give you an example uh, a young child if you were raised in a home where your parents worked a lot both of them let's say they worked from 5 a.m to 6 p.m every night and you grew up where your parents said you gotta wake up every morning and you're gonna get ready and you're gonna go you're gonna eat breakfast and you're gonna get dressed and go to school you're gonna walk to school you're gonna do your, you're gonna go to school you're gonna come home you're gonna do your homework gonna make dinner so that when i come home dinner's made and then we have money to live and survive this happens for a lot of children this is called parentifying a child this is when they're very young and they have responsibilities that an adult has so let's say this happened to a young child. This would create this example of I, their schema might be, I need to, no one's there to take care of me. So I need to be independent and I need to take care of myself. I need to do things in order to feel safe. I can't depend on anybody else. I need to depend on myself. I need to be in full control all of the time. So let's say that's that young person. That's what that belief, that's what that part of them believes. And they went through this very young, so it can be very um, daunting on a child to experience this. And because of that, it is something that is learned and it, in, it's learned behaviorally, emotionally. And this is the part of the brain. This is the right part of your, the right hemisphere of your brain that learns this. And it will store it again, it stores it in implicit memory because it says this is very important and we need to survive. So we need to remember, remember this. So now this is that schema for that part of that person. And great. Like we're, it's, it's helping, it's helping the child. So these, these models, these mental models or these schemas live in implicit memory. Other people call it, and I've used this term many, many times because people, I use it again because colloquially people understand what it means. And it's like the subconscious mind. Okay. So um, but these mental models, these schemas, as an adult, they can end up hurting you. Why? Because when you were younger, these this belief that th that schema really helped you stay safe and secure and alive in that in that context when you were like seven to like fifteen, let's just say. So it, it helped you adapt to the environment that you were in. So it was very very helpful. But as you grow up. You're not, two things change that are very, very important. You're an adult now, you're not seven, let's just say, and you're not in the same environment. Two really big differences, right? You're not in the same, you're not in the same environment. Let's say you're like 40 and you're married with kids and you're an adult now. So you believe that you had to take care of yourself back then because you were a kid and it was so necessary and, and you had to be in control all the time. And you had to not talk to strangers and be really independent and just do everything. But it's a little different when you're older because you have different resources and you're older and you have a different environment. 